Hello, this is Renegades, renewed action against HIV AIDS and other sexually transmitted infections and this is our program here, HIV AIDS Awareness Revolution. Today, we'll be discussing herpes. What is herpes? Of course, herpes is a sexually transmitted infection and there are two types of herpes, genital herpes and oral herpes, which are caused by types of viruses, herpes simplex, virus type 1, HSV1, herpes simplex, virus type 2, HSV2. What is oral herpes? Oral herpes is usually caused by HSV1 and can result in cold sores, fever blisters, on or around the mouth. Most people with oral herpes show no symptoms. Also, most of them were infected during childhood or young adulthood from non-sexual contact with infected saliva. What is genital herpes? Genital herpes is a common STD the world over, but in the United States, one out of every six people aged 14 to 49 years have it. How is genital herpes spread by having vaginal, anal, or oral sex with someone who has the disease? You can have it also if you come into contact with a herpes sore, infected saliva, or genital secretions, skin in the oral area for someone who has oral herpes, or skin in the genital area for someone who has genital herpes. Herpes can spread from an infected mother to her unborn baby, but it's more likely spread during childbirth, and for children it can be very deadly. What are the symptoms of genital herpes? Most people who have genital herpes have none or very mild symptoms, which may be mistaken as a skin condition, such as a pimple or ingrown hair. Because of this, most people do not know that they have herpes. For those who show symptoms, herpes sores show up as one or more blisters on or around the genitals, rectum or mouth. The blisters break and leave painful sores that may take a week or more to heal. The first outbreak may show flu-like symptoms such as fever, body aches and swollen glands. The bad news is that herpes has no cure. However, there are medications that can prevent or shorten herpes outbreaks. How do we avoid herpes? The only way to avoid STDs in general is to not have vaginal, anal, or oral sex. Heavy petting can also cause a spread of infection. If you are sexually active, be in a long-term, mutually monogamous relationship with a partner who has been tested and has negative STD test results. Also. Use latex condoms the right way every single time you have sex. Let your doctor examine you for STDs regularly. Also, if you notice any STD symptoms on you or your partner, please go to your doctor to be examined and diagnosed. Always remember, please remember that prevention is better than cure. For more information, go to the CDC site or go to renegades.org. Now that you have all the information on herpes, please tell the world, spread the news to others. You can help save a lot of lives. Thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you again in the next episode.